Sorry about that, guys. This is part two. My brother called, and when he called, it cut me off. Um, he called my home phone, but my home phone's connected to my cell phone. And when um, he called, it, I tried to pause it. Oh, I see the pause button now. What a ditz. <laughs> The pause button, I, I hit the uh, end button instead of the pause button. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, when you get yourself into a situation or um, a place where you get stuck... Go to the Heavenly Father and just, you know, ask Him what to do. Ask Him to give you discernment on how to get out of it. And, you know, find a place in the Bible where it speaks to you, you know. Because, um, you know, the the Word is alive and um, talks about in Hebrews 11, 1, Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not yet seen. And um, when you're trusting God, you know, you have to step out in faith. You have to take that first step and listen. When you're, when, you know, God says to do something, to step out in faith, you're, you know, taking that faith and you're stepping out. And when you do that, uh, he will he will carry you through. He will get you through whatever situation you are in. I know that um, he's gotten me through a lot, a lot of stuff. This whole time when I didn't have a caregiver for five months, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to get around sitting here alone all day. Or how to, you know, get myself washed up and taken care of. Because um, there are a lot, lot of things I can't do myself. And, you know, um, and, you know, you know, God's telling me this whole time. Wait patiently on me. I, 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 I have one for you. But if you wait patiently on me, I, I will take care of you. And, you know, the Holy Spirit told me years ago that He would be my provider. And, um, He has provided for me in every way. Sometimes not at the time I wanted it. Just like with my caregiver. But in His time. And everything in His time. His time is always right, not my time. You know, you know. Um, Second Peter three nine talks about you know. Yeah. Um, no, his time is always right. You know, he doesn't want anybody to um, die, but he wants everybody to come to repentance. I'm paraphrasing it because I don't know how to. I don't know the scripture word by word, but I know about what it's about. He just, you know, he he doesn't want anybody to perish, but he wants everybody to come to repentance. And his time is always right. You know, you know everything, you know, doesn't have to be in our time because it's not going to be in our time. It's going to be in his time. I hope that you all are, I hope you all stay safe. I know in California, a lot of California is practically semi-locked down. We're not fully locked down, but we're semi-locked down again. And um, I don't know how many, you know, I don't know what part of California is, but I know most of the Bay Area is. I think there's like 33 counties or more that are semi-locked down. I mean, we can eat out, 
what we have to eat outside. So, um, but I'm not going to eat out. If I eat out, I'm going to be, um, well, I'm going to be down downloading DoorDash on my phone. So if I want food, I can just order it off my phone. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. So here's my other babies. Anyway, everybody, I just wanted to come back on, finish what I was saying, and say sorry for the rude eruption. I don't know how to end a... <laughs> I mean, to pause a, um, vi a video, and I've had this phone, what, almost three years? Anyway, everybody, remember to find joy in your journey, no matter where you are, whatever you're going through. There's always something to be joyful for and about. Remember to love yourselves and to love each other. Before you can love someone else, you've got to love yourself first. I love you all, and until another video, bye-bye.